if not because it's like I gotta do it no it's because like I want to maintain my quality of life and my wellness and I like to share them with people and he said I was going to for posting my WFG scam video well this person left an interesting comment and it's important for me to have a reasonable response and to encourage those who have haters. And if you are a hater, hopefully you hate less. If not, my YouTube comment filter will block that right out. Okay, here we go. So this individual left a comment. So to give you some context, after a number of back and forth comments that he initiated, okay, here's what this individual had to say. He has some choice words. He has some choice words. He said, listen, Vance. Vance, my name is Lance. Anyways, he said, I have no intention of getting your page views up. Which explains your choice of MLM as a topic because, semicolon, A, it's a highly controversial topic. That's right, because you got bad apples that try to ruin the whole bunch. And then you got unreasonable people that overgeneralize and come to false conclusions or inaccurate conclusions because they don't seek understanding and are not objective. Okay, B is what he said. Recruiters key in on them for fresh victims. Yes, if they have a traditional network marketing approach that focuses on recruiting and selling and leading with the business opportunity, which I do not focus on, but that's what overgeneralizations do. <laughs> C, there are millions of victims Okay, this person clearly has a victim mentality. D, corporate MLMs have departments full of shills whose task is to patrol them. It's called a compliance department, and you do have people that say things that are compliant, and they're distributors, and they are customers, and a lot of times it's because they just haven't been properly educated and have been held accountable for. There are regulatory bodies in the government that hold companies accountable, FTC, FDA, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not sure what this person's point on that is, but E, he leaving some alphabets up in here, pro-smoking and anti was already taken. Don't even know, that seems out of scope and out of context, and anyways, then this person says, once again, you avoid posting a link which shows you have no conviction and are gutless. Sounds like he's projecting because I provided numerous links. He just didn't like those links and he didn't agree with those links and he didn't know how to communicate that respectfully. That's four elements and you're like, dang, I know it was that deep. Yes, it is, like the ocean. Then this person says, God has a special place in mind for you. I hope you like it hot. <laughs> about to, you know what I'm saying, we about to All right, all right, hold on. I know, I, I know you're, you're getting upset too, so we... <laughs> Serenity. Mm. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. All right, now that I have the serenity to continue, let's continue. I said, first off, the name is Lance. But it sounds like you're projecting again and being very unreasonable now, especially since, number one, it's about to get real. I have given a more than reasonable response with links in my comments above. S number two, someone's place in eternity has to do if they've repented of their sins and put their trust in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and not being pro-authentic network marketing. So yeah, we, we about to bring the whole biblical worldview up in here for just a tiny bit. And that's just, I mean, so often, I mean, this is, this person was condemning me for being pro network marketing. And I would say a network marketing business that was qualified with regards to what my statements were. Okay, so I follow and believe businesses that follow an FTC model of exchanging real products for real money once the value has been established and there's an exchange of that, right? You go whoop whoop because the product price 
is you know perceived as more valuable than your money and you exchange that okay that's called the value exchange all right so that is what's going on and we vote with our dollar so that's what i believe in and that's what makes a legitimate network marketing company now if he's going to say that only one percent of distributors make money or that it's an mlm scam or pyramid scheme you'd have to provide fact-based evidence you'd have to see that you know you're not just using a focus group of one to make an overgeneralization and come to an inaccurate conclusion. You'd, and you'd also have to look at the person, product, and company, as well as the team as well. There's there's lots of stuff. And by the time you do all that, you're like, dang, Lance, that's a lot of work. It's just easier for me to put something in a box. So let me just do that. And that's what he did. Okay. But just because it's easy doesn't mean it's the right thing is my point. Number three point that I made in the comment was making a claim about someone's salvation without knowing if they have a relationship with God is highly unreasonable and you sound like a modern day Pharisee or Sadducee who got triggered and decided to make overgeneralizations and inaccurate claims because of some major cognitive dissonance and Kruger-Dunning effect. Woo! We're getting deep. I'm telling you, like the Atlantic Ocean right now, we just... We get deep. All right, and I said, Google those words if you don't believe me. And then I said, lastly, I don't need your views. That's the truth. I get enough already from people who enjoy watching my channel or are unreasonable anti MLMers like yourself. So we went in on him towards the end because he was going in on me. He was making a salvation claim, and we don't do that. Okay. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, Lance. You've mentioned some terms, I could Google them, but what is the Kruger-Dunning effect? I'm, I'm Googling that now to make sure I give you a proper definition. Okay, so here's what it means. Here's what it means, we're about to go. In the field of psychology, the Dunning-Kruger effect, or the Kruger-Dunning effect, is a cognitive bias, which everyone has, but not everyone is aware or honest about their own, in which people of low ability have illusory superiority so they think they high and mighty but they mistakenly assess their cognitive ability as greater than it is so they're basically saying look I'm smart I know my stuff but in reality they are missing information or they have inaccurate information and that does not allow them to come to an accurate conclusion and they just need to be corrected or rebuked and like I said he sounded like a Pharisee or Sadducee because in Jesus's times they were the ones who basically persecuted Jesus for telling the truth and they also convinced the Roman emperors to hang Jesus on a cross so that is you know what happened historically but at the same time he's doing that with the belief system of MLMs in general and I think that needs to be highly pre-qualified and the coin needs to show both sides and there needs to be a lot of case-by-case -case analysis and research to make sure that he's coming to accurate conclusions which I don't think he was not about me myself and my religious beliefs and I don't even like the word religious I like the word relationship having a relationship with Christ and he also wasn't doing that with the video and company that I was talking about in that video so you know this video went a little bit deeper because I believe it's important to cover topics that other people don't. You know, this is a little bit more real. Maybe some people are like, eh, you know, eh, let me just cover benefits and uses of products. And I'm like, yes, I do that too. But I think it's so important to deal with situations when they come up that are less favorable because it gives people an idea of, okay, well, that's a reasonable response. Or, oh, yeah, he was direct and he's assertive. He don't take no BS, right? And I don't, okay? Like, I don't give it and I don't take it. <laughs> So that is how it works. And this person was was trolling. Like the, the other comments before and after this are just like, really, dude, like, and you know who you are. Like if you if you're watching this video, I still got love for you, but you were you were being highly unreasonable and you know it. Okay, so that is just the realness with it. Alright, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I do have some additional resources which I recommend for him as well as other people and it's how to solve your people problems which that link will be in the description below and this book is also right here boom if you've seen me show it in my videos before I highly recommend watching it if you deal with people you're gonna have problems and I think a lot of times people are surprised they have problems with somebody I call it the you know people call it the honeymoon phase and you're just like oh they can do all wrong you know and you just look over a lot of stuff but it's like no like I'm not trying to be a Donald Downer but I do expect to have problems 
dislikes or disagreements with people, no matter how close they are with me. And I think it's important to manage those well. And that book gives you the skill sets and the mindset to really do that effectively if you're reasonable and open to reason. Okay, number two is the source video, which I have in the link in the description below. And that would be pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully, you gain some perspective and you just know that, man, people are going to feel some type of way after hearing what you say or, or watching your videos. And it's so important for me to, to process that in a way that really just is like, look, like, here's where I disagree with you. Here's why I do agree with you on some aspects. Like I think, like I, like I've mentioned in this video or others, like there are some bad apples in any industry, you know, with regards to companies that don't do the right thing, and it makes others look bad. And I think as an individual, it's so important to not put all the companies in the box of pyramid scheme or MLM scam or, you know, this or that. Okay, we have to look at things on a case by case basis and understanding why things happen as well. If we just say, well, only 1% of distributors make money, why is that, right? There's a lot of reasons why, and a lot of it is they quit. Okay, so um, the people who didn't make it, they quit, and there's reasons why people do that, right? So, but that's not mentioned in the anti MLM discussion. It's just like, see, you know, it's because they're just trying to prove a point and they have an agenda and I think for me I will agree with them that on all those there are pyramid schemes, there are MLM scams, there are a lot of MLM companies that have top 1% of distributors making real money but there are reasons for all of those things there are exceptions to every rule and there's also a lot of reasonability that has to come with those with regards to the FTC definition of an MLM scam or pyramid scheme which the vast majority of people do not follow or they'll use it but then they'll twist it um, and they'll say because really their definition is real products for real money exchange and then they'll say well you have to maintain a certain minimum in a company as a distributor well yeah you have to be a product of the product and that's part of company policy and if you're using the products then you will meet the minimum I know with my company that's really easy to do because it's a hundred PV or hundred point value which is roughly a hundred dollars I do at least 150 per month not because it's like I gotta do it no it's because like I want to maintain my quality of life and my wellness and I like to share them with people and I like to give samples to people and I need to have an inventory like it makes sense like they're so one-sided on what they're saying that they're not seeing the whole picture or even like you know like college degree cost and timing and acceptance rates and getting a job and promotions and da 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 or small business startup cost and loans and failure rates and da 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 and it's just like we have to look at the bigger picture and I don't think people are and that's what my videos are designed to do is help people that want to look at the bigger picture well that's it again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video